Can you read to me the nameplate? Judge Ebony K. Williams. So the only thing that matters in this particular courtroom is how I see it. I am from North Carolina by way of Louisiana with some West Coast cool and a New York edge. Do we have a problem, ma'am? No, I don't, Your Honor. Equal justice is all about the most important values of our country, freedom, integrity, and those are the things that I'm striving for. Ma'am, you run your household. This man gets to run his. I decided to become an attorney and pursue the law. I wanted to be a voice for the voiceless. This court can not hold this woman accountable. People from all sectors of life, black, white, purple, gay, straight, queer, and that's what Equal Justice with Judge Ebony K. Williams is all about. Mike Graff claims his child's mother crossed the line by putting spyware on a phone he shared with his son. Lisa Fuller says their 10-year-old had to be monitored after Mr. Graff gave him the phone behind her back. Good day, I see I've got as my plaintiff, Mike Graff, and my defendant, Lisa Fuller. Uh, Mr. Graff, I see you're suing for $5,000. Why are we in court today? That's correct, Your Honor. Yes, sadly, uh, we're here today because I'm suing the mother of my son for uh, emotional distress, invasion of privacy, um, so much emotional distress that I'm having to see a therapist for PTSD, mm. and uh, she needs to pay for it, frankly. Okay. Uh, sorry to hear that, sir. So you're saying your therapy is currently and projected to cost $5,000. What has she done, sir, to lead you to this space? The main reason we're here today is because she installed a software on uh, the phone that I gave to our son mm -hmm. um, that allows her to see all text message, emails, everything, and including deleted text messages that I had exchanged with uh, my former girlfriend and just mm. the constant bombardment and just harassment that she's caused me. So I would love for her to be held accountable, boundaries wow. to be set okay, so that we can move forward. So you are very, very upset, Mr. Graff. I can see mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah. Let's back up here. How long were you in a relationship with this woman and how old is your child? Mikey's 10 years old. Okay. Um, we were together uh, for a brief time. Uh, okay. It was a one night stand. Uh, okay. That yeah. happens. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Mikey was not the plan. Mm -hmm. um, however, we're thankful for him, and we've tried to make it work for about a year. Mm -hmm. um, but as yeah. a couple, or yes, yeah, as a couple. Yes, as a couple. couple. Okay, and that yeah. wasn't successful. Looks no. Like. No. <laughs> okay. So you two have been co-parenting for many years now. If huh? Mikey's ten, correct? That's correct. Okay. So you guys oh, have been co-parenting, and how has that been going, sir? Uh, it's it's been going, uh, you know. We never got here. We never had a judicial hearing or anything. No claims. So it's all been between. No shade. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. It, it's been okay. between us. We've been able to make it work. It's had its ups and downs. Um, so but. it's been going pretty okay up until this point, is mm -hmm. what I hear. And and she's disagreeing, which we'll hear her side in a second. <sighs> You're saying it was going okay. Uh, until this point, and I want to get clarity again, Mr. Graff. There's a cell phone that you gave your son. Correct. And at some point, you're saying, and she'll tell her side, that she put spyware, for lack of a better term, yes. on this device. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you're telling me that that spyware also allowed her to see your text messages and your That's private correct. information. So yes, because it is. While my son does use it, it mm -hmm. is still my phone. I bought it for him. I need to be able to. <laughs> use it on occasion if my phone's dead, you know, if we're at a place and my phone's in the charging. Okay, so you kind of share the phone. Correct. And yes. do you also have your own phone? Correct. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So cuz I, I you know, I don't need him to see everything that's on my phone. I just want him well, to Well, I have. certainly hope not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But... All right. So you're saying that this has caused you trauma. How? In the sense that it's an invasion of privacy. Uh, she called me up out of the blue. This is this is the big spark that led us here. Please. Um, yeah. I was, you know, going about my day and she called me out of the blue. Uh, fully unhinged, just screaming at me. Unhinged. When are you planning on telling me you're going to move? And I just and was so a what lot is she of... talking about, sir? When are you moving, and why is so she hearing that's... it from the phone? Sorry, you're right. yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's exactly it. There's, I'm not moving. I okay. told her, uh, hey, I'm not moving. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, if I was going to move, I would have told you. We would have a conversation about mm. it. And I asked, so what? What are you accusing me of this for? She right then, here. yeah, she sends me a screenshot. Thank you for bringing that up. She mm -hmm. sends me a screenshot of a private conversation I was having with my girlfriend at the time, mm -hmm. and I was just through Mikey's phone. <laughs> Madam Defendant, I'll get to you in one second. Thank, Thank you. you. Go Thank ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Instantly, just felt completely violated. Like, I mean. How did she get that? And mm -hmm. so I asked her. So how... you didn't know that she had the spyware no. on the. Okay. No knowledge of okay. this. So I asked her, how how were you able to see this? Mm -hmm. um, and she said, don't worry about it. Okay, Let, let's let's pause there. Yeah. All right, Miss Fuller. Uh, mm -hmm. He's been talking a lot to the court. Let, let yeah. me hear from you. 
What's up with this spyware, the phone, you calling and blasting him out? What's well, true? to start off, Your Honor, mm -hmm. he likes to say that we've been co-parenting very well, but it hasn't been very well mm -hmm. for the last 10 years. We've agreed to some things, mm -hmm. and he's gone behind my back with the phone. For example, we have said that we're not going to give our 10-year-old child a phone until he's in middle school, until he is a teenager, and he is 10 years old, and he now has a smartphone, which I found out after he came home, Mikey came home, and I saw that he had a smartphone. So you're in telling his hand. the court, ma'am, that the father of the of your child, of mm -hmm. y'all's child that you share, was defiant yeah. for your request to yeah. not have a cell phone to your child until the teenage years. It wasn't only my request; we had agreed. Y'all had agreed. We agreed. Okay, to so it. let's take a pause, Mr. Yeah. Graff. Is that true? Coming up on Equal Justice. I get that you are fragile and that we're going to get to this PTSD claim, and that's clear. I'm, I'm convinced of that. What I can't make out yet is if she is responsible for that. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Mike Graff, who is fighting with Lisa Fuller over spyware on his phone. Is that true? Yes, but I, and I can own up to that. I can own up to saying that, yeah, I, I may have overstepped there. May oh, have. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as you, as you can see with her con constantly bombarding me. No, I, I, can't, I actually yeah. haven't seen that, sir. Thank, thank um, you. I can't say I've seen a bombardment. Mm -hmm. I've seen you stumbling over your words here with mm -hmm. the court and, you know, awful, awfully upset. Mm -hmm. But I'm still trying to make out what she has done, because that's my job today, sir, right? Correct. Is is I, I get that you're upset. I get that you are uh, fragile and that we're going to get to this PTSD claim and, and your upsetness, and that's clear. I'm, I'm convinced of that. What I can't make out yet is if she is responsible for that. So mm -hmm. that's what I need you to help me with. Mm -hmm. So she's saying, and you're admitting that y'all agreed mm -hmm. as two consenting adults to say this young boy, he's still a boy, mm -hmm. doesn't need a cell phone with all of the risk associated with cell phone devices and social media and, quite frankly, kidnapping. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? People are putting tags and things on young people's phones and snatching them off the streets every day. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of risk. So I can mm -hmm. see where, as parents, y'all would decide collectively, mm -hmm. keyword there collectively, to refrain from that until a later date. But you go behind her back, actually, and you don't do that. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. Because, uh, Your Honor, Due to our previous relationship when we were together, it was very difficult, and there was that was the onset of a lot of the trauma that I now have, and uh, this is really what triggered that, and I, I want to deal with it. I want to be the best dad I can be to him. Of oh, sure. And so I want to work on myself, and I don't think it's fair that I have to pay that when she is the cause of all of that stress and trauma because we how, have to do this sir, together. How, sir? Convince me how. And before we get to that, you still haven't answered my first question, Mr. Graff. Mm -hmm. Why course. did you go behind his mother's mm -hmm. back and give your 10-year-old mm -hmm. a phone when you agreed that wasn't really a good idea? Mm -hmm. I, I did it to appease Mikey. I, I, you know, I try to be a good father to him. And oh, I, I get it. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Elijah, we got a people pleaser on our hands. Mm -hmm. We've seen this before. We've seen this one before. Okay. <laughs> but you do know that parenting is about doing what's in the best interest of your son, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Not appeasing him? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, continue. We want to move on now to where this woman is responsible. Tell me, what did she do, sir, to get to these medical bills of $5,000? So she looked on the phone at deleted messages, saw a conversation <laughs> between me and my girlfriend, yeah. read it, and totally invaded Is she the my cause privacy. of it? Because you kept saying former breakup, uh, former girlfriend breakup. Is she the cause of the breakup? Are you telling me? I, absolutely. Tell there. me why. Get to it quickly, sir. Because it was always about her. It was always about her stepping into our relationship, overstepping oh. boundaries. And the ex, your, your then girlfriend Correct. got tired of absolutely. having to play third party to a pre existing relationship. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, the court is not clear that you have really. Close this chapter with this woman. It sounds like she's got a little too much uh, control slash impact, and it sounds like you're allowing it, though, sir. Well, that's what I'm trying to do today is set boundaries. Because oh, you came to court to set a relationship boundary. How about those apples? Hold on a minute, sir. Ma'am, you said you have some text messages for me to see. I do. Please give do. those to my bailiff. Thank you, ma'am. Give everything you've got in the folder. Thank you. Let me review this so I can get a better understand. Thank you. Okie dokie. 
And Ooh. these are on Mikey's this phone. is the ten-year-old's phone. This is the ten-year-old's phone. Right, because I, I, I was going to get to the text messages, but my eye got sent over here when I'm looking at these search. Yeah, engines. the search, and that's what I sex, found. Sex, sex, kissing, gun scenes, mm -hmm. how to kiss at ten. Mm -hmm. Ten years old. Okay, how to kiss, pretty girls. Oh Lord. Okay, so this is the a search minor. engine of a ten-year-old. My son is searching that. Okay. Yes. Then let's see. This is. Emily, so this is the girlfriend? That's his, his past Okay, so this is a yeah. text between your son's father yep. and his then girlfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's time we take the next step. I think it's time we move in together. Really? Oh my God, I've been waiting on this. Are you going to tell Lisa that is the defendant mm -hmm. here? Plaintiff says, nah, she'd probably have a hissy fit. Uh, girlfriend at the time, yeah, true, she's used to any excuse to get mad at mm -hmm. you, plus my house, my rules, she doesn't control me. Well, sir, actually, it seems like she does. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like that you allow uh, anybody in your face to control you, from the woman you have a child with to this girlfriend here to your 10-year-old son. So when do you, Mr. Graff, become an adult and create boundaries for the way you want to live? Or is that my job? We're here today because she violated my privacy mm -hmm. and caused me a, immense emotional distress. He wants to talk so about... So you can talk about, you can talk okay. about parenting all you want. That's absolutely, that's something between us. We can work on that. Mm -hmm. But what she can't accept and she can't own up for is the fact that she is constantly abusing me and, and verbally, Your Honor, mm -hmm. and just to the point where I need help and I'm... Okay, I, I think we agree you need some help. Mm -hmm. That part we, we got. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Miss Miss Fuller, how about it? How about the fact that he's saying that you are violating his privacy, you're in his business, and that you are controlling his household? What do you say to that? I say that that is crap. Mm. He's on our child's phone texting his girlfriend, trash talking the mother of his child, and the child is reading no. those Honor, text I mean, messages. I, no, you may not. The child Mr. is Graf, you may he, not. He's Go reading ahead. those messages. I am taking care of our child 24-7, mm. mm. with, with exception for the week that he's taking care of him, but he's mm. neglecting our child by not monitoring mm. the phone. I'm monitoring the phone. Coming up on Equal Justice. You are uh, correct, sir. You do suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. It says you've got stressful and traumatic events. The court is noting that. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Mike Graff, who is fighting with Lisa Fuller over spyware on his phone. Mr. Graff, do you have evidence for the court? How did yes, we get I... to $5,000? Please offer yes, that I up. Yes, I do. I've got the five months of therapy each session, 250 twice a month, and then... Sir, I can read just fine. Go ahead and give that to my bailiff. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. There's also in there uh, evidence from you, the... My phone service provider that shows that she w did install. Okay, let's start with that. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. This is the spy feature. Correct. This is th th this applies to all the social media channels, mm -hmm. the browser history. Mm -hmm. But she's not disputing that, sir. She's mm -hmm. telling the court very yep. openly that she's a concerned mother. Yep. You went behind her back. You gave a ten-year-old a phone against y'all's consensual agreement to not do so until he turned thirteen. As such, her only response was to either take the phone, mm -hmm. one would presume, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't think you would appreciate, um, or do what she's done here. She's got to have some type of parental oversight because someone has to, sir. Mm -hmm. So this is actually not disputed evidence. This is conceded by both parties. Spyware was on the device. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Okay, this again, not important. This is you taking up the issue of spyware with the company. They're saying, yes, spyware is there. Again, non-disputed issue. Let's get to this piece of evidence. This is from your psychiatrist, Dr. Wong here. Uh, per your request, I'm diagnosing you. You are uh, correct, sir. You do suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, per your psychiatrist. Uh, it says you've got stressful and traumatic events. You have to have bi-weekly outpatient sessions to treat this. But now let's get to the money. These are these invoices, sir, that where you're paying for 30-minute therapy sessions. Uh, what is this, twice a month? That's correct. Okay, to the tune of 500. And you're saying you're going to need this for about a, almost a better part of a year, which is how we get to $5,000? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. Coming up on Equal Justice. Yeah. Why, why are you not responsible? Because I think he's had these issues way before we met. That is his own baggage. I have been a responsible mother. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Mike Graff, who is fighting with Lisa Fuller over spyware on his phone. And ma'am, I think I'm ready to rule here, but a final question for you. Yeah. Why, why are you not responsible 
uh, for the fact that he claims that all of this is due to you? Because I think he's had these issues way before we met. Way before we met. That is his own baggage. And I don't, I have been a responsible mother. I have been a caring and a nurturing mother. And my priority is my son. Mm. My concern is my son. I don't care what he does with his life. I don't care about his girlfriends. I don't care about his personal stuff. Mm -hmm. I care about the protection and the safety of our son. If he's got emotional things that he needs to work on, I'm, I, I will gladly support him in that because I want our, our, our child to have a loving, supportive, Stable, and healthy emotional. Stable, stable emotional mother. father, but yeah. I don't think I'm responsible for that. Mm -hmm. I think my only job is to protect my son, and I don't think he likes that because he himself has been negligent, and he needs to stand up and, and, and be responsible for that and stop being this cool dad mm. and start being a real dad. Ooh. Shots fired. Your, Your Honor, okay. if I may, she talks about uh, not caring about what I do, yet all she can do is read all these texts, concerned about me moving now, in with you know my what, girlfriend. Brad, I think the court's heard enough, actually, on this case. Um, thank you both for your testimony and your evidence. Here's the thing. This is common, actually, where you've got two adults that I do believe, and I want to be clear on this, are showing up in good faith with every effort to be good parents. Mm -hmm. I do believe that. However, y'all have two very different points of view as to what makes a good parent. This woman is really having to step into the posture of protecting and providing. You, sir, are stepping into the posture of companionship mm. for your son. Judge Ebony's verdict when equal justice returns. This is equal justice. Your son is 10. This is a very important formative age for him. He is starting to, um, as we can see by that search engine, he's getting curious about things. Your son shouldn't be going to Google about how to kiss. He should be going to his father. I, I actually see couples, former couples in this courtroom every day. And many times I'm not so convinced that the romantic desires of one party to another are totally resolved. But oh, today, I don't believe this woman cares one bit, sir about what you do with your personal life. I don't think she would have you back if you wanted her. Mm -mm. What I believe is you need to really work on your boundaries. I do see a man who is deeply fragile. I believe you are traumatized. But the issue, sir, is I believe you showed up that way when you met this woman. And you cannot, sir, reasonably expect this court to make this woman foot a bill for you doing your work. Your son deserves the best of you. I'm glad you are seeking mental health treatment to get that. More parents should do that mm -hmm. and do their work. But sir, this woman is not financially obligated to pay for your work. The court will dismiss the plaintiff's case entirely. That is my ruling. Judge Ebony has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. Any final thoughts for each other? Yeah, I just hope that this means that you can start acting your age. And I hope that you can finally have some boundaries. Okay. You've had your day in court. Please follow me. Ladies first. Good, sir. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.